Sinister, fascinating and disturbing are three words that come to mind when reflecting on the film. Five, four, three, two, one. Cue music. This is Movies First with Alex First. Arguably he does body horror better than anyone. So it's no surprise that David Cronenberg's latest offering continues that journey. He wrote Crimes of the Future in 1999, but set it aside before deciding this was the right time to make the movie. That was informed by the rise in the predominance of microplastics, which are now unfortunately inside all of us. The film starts remarkably, with a young boy watched on by his mother eating a plastic rubbish bin. The corollary to that is played out as the film progresses. In Cronenberg's Brave New World, physical manifestations of pain are a thing of the past, although fated performance artist Saul Tenser, Vigo Mortensen, is different. His body grows new organs regularly. Considered tumorous, they're removed by fellow artist and Tenser's lover Caprice, Leia Saidu, a former trauma surgeon. To take this one step further, the surgery performed on Tenser is considered the new sex, a major turn-on. Tensor sleeps in a specially constructed, computer-controlled womb-like bed known as an orchid bed, where skeletal hands monitor his pain and keep him comfortable. He has trouble swallowing food, which he consumes with effort from a skeletal chair known as the breakfaster. The orchid bed, breakfaster and surgical devices are maintained by a pair of technical experts, Router, Nadia Litz and Burst, Tanaya Beatty, who seem to enjoy their jobs. One day, Tenser and Caprice, fated for their remarkable public surgical shows, turn up at the door of a sleazy back office. The sign reads, National Organ Registry. That unofficial body, which discreetly tracks new organ growths, is run by career bureaucrats Mr Whippet, Don McKellar, and Timlin, Kristen Stewart. Both greatly admire Tenser. Seeking out Tenser is Lang Doctress, Scott Speedman, the father of the boy who I referenced earlier the one who eats plastic. Doctus himself only consumes silver-wrapped, purple-coloured candy bars. The mystery deepens, but comes together as Crimes of the Future reaches its climax. Along the way, there are more surprises. You're listening to Movies First. For more, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Sinister, fascinating and disturbing are three words that come to mind when reflecting on the film. You can't say there isn't food for thought, both literally and figuratively, but you need to concentrate to follow the narrative. The film speaks about a world that's evolved, where technology is playing an increasing part, but the question must be asked, is it for the greater good? I appreciated the strength and conviction in the lead performances. Viggo Mortensen successfully channels Tense's fragile state of mind throughout. Leia Saidu brings an empathetic and loving enthusiasm to Caprice. Kristen Stewart works Timlin's arc, moving from apprehensive to highly excitable. Carol Spears' production design is memorable. The device is concocted imaginative. As with much of Cronenberg's work, this is a picture for selective tastes. Having said that, I find his form of science fiction intriguing, and so it is here. Crimes of the Future scores a 7 out of 10. You've been listening to Movies First with Alex First. Available at Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio or your favourite podcast player. You can also stream on demand at Bytes.com. This has been another quality podcast production from Bytes.com.